Well, welcome to Canyons in Utah. Uh, the resort, uh, well, it used to be called The Canyons, actually, but uh, last year the marketing people uh, had a little look at the, to this name and thought they'd call it Canyons rather than The Canyons, uh, representing um, the huge amount of money they spent here, actually, uh, on the, the resort itself in terms of the accommodation and uh, also on the lifts. This uh, orange gondola lift you see here, very striking. Um, yeah, it's something they're very proud of. It adorns a lot of their promotional and marketing uh, literature and he's also on the front of the peace map um, it also has heated seats which is rather nice on a cold day though uh, yeah not very cold here in canyons at the moment in fact that's uh, one of the problems of the area it's very warm and uh, yeah there hasn't been uh, great snowfall this year in Utah um, in fact we've had about half the amount of snow it normally has and it's not exactly the greatest snow on earth as uh, it proclaims to be though of course nowhere can actually have the greatest snow on earth because uh, yeah it depends if the snow's fallen and uh, what the temperature's like and where you are some resorts uh, sometimes have the greatest snow I guess and other times they don't but anyway they claim it has the greatest snow on earth uh, not something we entirely agree with here at Planet Ski but there is some fantastic skiing here um, I've actually skied here when there has been some powder snow yeah amazing 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 snow in Utah when you do get that snow but this year sadly we haven't got any uh, however uh, it does have really good snow coverage I mean all the resorts we've been to great snow on the piece or the groomers as they call them great snow on the piece good coverage and uh, yeah on the north facing slopes particularly good grippy snow and no complaints at all really so um, if you are coming out here and you've heard there's a snow drought in the United States yeah not true at all uh, the good skiing to be had um other things we've done here well if you saw last week's uh, snow report you would have seen we went to snow basin and we visited Alta and Snowbird, some of the other resorts, and Deer Valley, perhaps the most uh, upmarket resort here, or even the most upmarket in America, though uh, perhaps Aspen and Vale uh, would give it a run for its money. Um, but as I said, at the moment we're in Canyons, much more of a young person's resort. Uh, they've got a ski cross event taking place here, as you can see, uh, which attracts a much younger crowd. And uh, yeah, there's much steeper skiing here than there is in Park City and Deer Valley with some steeper terrain, though, uh, yeah, sadly, no powder snow to enjoy, but still some very good skiing to be had here. Um, I was in Park City actually yesterday, uh, which has lots of wide open slopes, so really good for some of that fast uh, piece skiing you can do. Though obviously, you've got to be careful with the crowds if it's busy and uh, yeah there are marshals around making sure you don't go too fast and uh, interrupt the enjoyment of other people on the mountains which are yeah, a good idea in my view at Planet Ski far too many people ski too fast and out of control so I'm a bit of a fan of so-called peace policemen slowing people down um, but yeah good skiing in Park City Park City is perhaps um, yeah it's probably got the best apres ski uh, of any of the resorts here uh, a lot of people worried when they come to Utah which is a Mormon state that there won't be anything to drink uh, well that's nonsense um, you can get alcohol here terribly easily. I mean, all the bars stock drink, the alcohol, beers, and all the rest of it, they're open. Um, this place here actually is a distillery, a whiskey distillery in the Mormon state of Utah in Park City. Um, I had a little tour of it from the manager, James. Yeah, fascinating place. Uh, they actually uh, grow or cultivate their own yeast here. That is actually what makes the whiskey uh, so good, apparently. Now, I don't know much about distilling whiskey, but it's, apparently it's all in the yeast. And if you buy it sort of in bulk and in wholesale, it's not so good. Grow it your own, then you have control over the taste of the drink. And uh, yeah, I had some whiskey with it. Well, chocolate pudding, actually. Um, not something I normally do, uh, but yeah, it was lovely, very nice, um, and uh, thoroughly recommend it. So, any worries about getting a drink in Utah? Not true. Though there are some rather bizarre local uh, rules. We actually went into a bar the other day after skiing, four o'clock, asked for a few beers, and we were told we couldn't have a beer unless we wanted to eat. We didn't actually have to eat anything, but we had to give them an indication we wanted to eat something by asking for a menu. Uh, so, we asked for a menu, we were served our beers, we drank our beer, handed back the menu without having anything to eat, and uh, that was that really but we couldn't have had the beer without a menu being on the table so a bit of an odd little uh, little local law there but nevertheless we can have a drink and I said if you are concerned about drinking and not being able to get a drink here then yeah, uh, don't worry about it you can not a problem at all um one of the other concerns people sometimes have with America is the uh, well the food actually lunches on the mountain okay not the mountain restaurants you get in Zermatt and some of the quaint Austrian resorts far from it um it's the sort of standard fare really of you know hamburgers hot dogs wraps salads all the rest of it huge portions obviously this being America um, but they are trying to improve the mountain cuisine most of the resorts I've been to here uh, well in fact almost the first thing they tell you after the, the skiing is the fact they've uh, they brought in some award-winning chef from somewhere or other um, to upgrade the food and uh, a lot of the food now made actually on the premises in the restaurants uh, rather than bringing it up in bulk 
uh, and storing it. So yeah, food is improving here, no doubt about that whatsoever. Um, elsewhere in America, in terms of the snow, well, yeah, it hasn't been a great year as we all know. Um, started off well, then a bit of a snow drought pretty much everywhere. However, Colorado, has had some good snow in the last few weeks. Uh, a friend of mine in Aspen at the moment told me she had a powder day there, about 15, 20 centimeters of snow last week. So good skiing to be had there. And uh, Vale has had a bit of snow too, and Breckenridge, Beaver Creek resorts like that. So good, to, yeah, better, better conditions, I think, rather than good, better conditions in Colorado at the moment. Uh, I'm actually heading over to California later this month to uh, Tahoe and uh, Heavenly. Um, again, dreadful winter there actually to start with a lot of the runs not open at all but it has got better and more snow uh, is hopefully forecast or so I'm told so I'll be letting you know what's happening over in California a little bit later this month further north in Canada well yeah good season in Canada Whistler Revelstoke Fernie British Columbia yeah, they've all had good snow um, over in eastern Canada again good conditions there actually as well after a poor start I, I'm actually heading to uh, eastern Canada uh, next month March uh, to have a little look around there and to give you some reports from there. I haven't been there myself, so rather looking forward to going. Uh, in terms of the snow again in the Alps in Europe, well, cold uh, still. Um Obviously I'm not there, uh, but various Planet Ski reporters have been sending me information and pictures and videos of what's going on there. And uh, they report that we haven't had the bump of snowfalls that we've had, uh, well really much of this season except for, the, except for the beginning. So no great snowfalls, but there has been some dustings of snow in various resorts around the Alps. And the cold temperature has preserved things very well indeed, though much of the powder, well most of the powder tracked out unless you want to uh, get in a helicopter if you're in Switzerland or uh, walk to it. Uh, nevertheless cold temperatures preserving things very nicely indeed though of course it being the half term week slopes are crowded. So in America if you've heard that the uh, conditions are not so good well not really true actually um, there isn't the powder around the place but the on-piece skiing is great um, they've had a bit of a snow drought but they've made snow when they can and yeah conditions probably better than you may be led to believe um, if you've just been looking at other internet sites and magazines and all the rest of it. I was a bit worried actually when I came over here especially given the good conditions in the Alps but yeah pleased to see there is good snow covering here in Utah and it's been a fascinating trip. James Cove, Planet Ski in Utah.